this is the last day we're gonna have for a little while at Utah Sun. Got a sheepdog out here helping with the repair of the 2003 Ford Focus. This has got the two liter engine in it and it's a ZX5. All right, we're gonna change out the windshield washer fluid pump today. Now, if you notice, I've already started this. That is because on a cold night, the first video I filmed on this, I, I didn't film it. It was a freezing cold night. I was just trying to get this done before the snowstorms came in. And then I found out that nobody had this part or nobody near me within three hours. Ended up getting that ordered through Napa Auto Parts. I had no idea this particular little pump was gonna be so hard to find. This culprit has to spray all over this back windshield. And so you've got to have a front and a rear. The new one does feel much more skookum than the other one. Hey, sheepdog. Sheepdog has meticulously been making yellow snow. Next thing you've got to do is you've got to get this wheel well cover off. There's a bolt down here. So you're going to need an eight millimeter socket uh, there are are two pins right here and you should be able to get them out with a phillips screwdriver but they're stripped out or something like that anyway i i can't get those out without busting them and instead of busting those out and replacing them i just have to manhandle this thing the hardest part is right here right here we got this little metal tab right here and it goes into a plastic pocket get that popped out just pull this back a little bit enough to Dink around with that reservoir. Pull this out. This is this is where the cursing begins. So I'm going to pause it. You're going to need a 10 millimeter to access this bolt right here. Just going to loosen that. Got this loosened just enough. You can see here's our our connector right here. It goes into the top of the pump for power you can see right here there's a there's another 10 millimeter little bolt we got to get out there and then you follow this thing up there's another there's another one right up there this doesn't quite fit perfectly square but this will work i'm just gonna get this one loose too i don't think i gotta get this one all the way off there's your reservoir I'm going to take that off so the new kit comes with the new one. I'm going to use it. All right. I'm just going to push that over there. So right here, the metal end. That just inserts right into that hole right there where we put that rubber grommet. And these hoses, they just slide right over these little outlets. It actually isn't too bad. It's just a pressure fit in there. And I guess it probably would have been easier to connect this electrical end earlier, but it didn't. This only goes on one way. It's got a little witness notch there and, and two right there. You go to insert that, push this wire down, it's spring loaded, and then that locks it into place. It's that easy to get apart. This is a easy repair. The most difficult part is, is getting to it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna pull it out because that's just how. Oh look, it came out with the grommet. So let's put this on right there. Oh, tell me that's gonna fit. You kidding me? Look at that. I I don't condone this, but listen, this is all I got. So bend that over a little bit. See if that works. Okay. Well, we're gonna test that out. No. Okay. No. That's how this one is. Okay. This pin right here. It's too far over on this. And I had to bend it over in order to get this connector to fit. And as I look at this one, it's the same way. This is this one's all 
This one's a little bit ski wampus. You're not going to be able to see it, I'm positive. But just had to bend that over, and, and this went on. When you take this apart, okay, especially if this is full, when you pull this pump out, all your fluid's going to come out. I just, I spilled quite a bit, but I was able to catch most of it, and I'm going to reuse it. Because uh, why just spill it on the ground and throw it away? I'm gonna fill this up and make sure it's all working. Look at this. See this, this I find kind of interesting right here. This was not leaking before, but you can watch, there's gonna be a drip form in any second now. I just, I just take this one out which, and put the old one back in. It was working before. I did notice that the old one, but it actually seemed to be just a hair bigger. I see no drips dripping. I am going to call that good. I did find out this one goes to the front windshield. The front one, the only windshield. This goes to the rear window right here. So the one up, up top comes off this flat portion of the pump. The This tube is clogged. Now this vehicle came from a much warmer climate. There's a couple possibilities. This could have a kink somewhere in it. Uh, it also could just be that it's got frozen water in it because it hasn't been, it's been stagnant. And so maybe from driving it and maybe in the sun a little bit more today, that might uh, fix with time. And now that I've got some 20 below uh, cleaner in here, uh, that could get refilled. If it unclogs, if not, not a big deal. So I'm gonna just take this little plug out, make sure plug and plug that back in. So what I ended up doing is I, I take off I took off this light. It's got a built-in nozzle into the light assembly in the third tail light. And I noticed there's a little bit of water in here. And I think that's what it is. I think it's just froze up inside there. Feeling good with that for, for the moment at least. From here, just go backwards. I'm gonna tighten the bolt up top. I'm gonna put that bolt in. I'm gonna just manhandle that plastic back into get that little pocket right here lined back up with that little tab of steel. We'll uh, line this back up right over here, run that bolt, which is sitting right there, back into place, tighten up that bolt, and we should be rocking and rolling with Crisco.